Just at the end of 2021, there was a common perception among the trade that Akshay Kumar can do no wrong. This alludes to the fact that his theatrical venture Surya Vanshi was one of the biggest hits out of Hindi cinema, and there was a clear distinction of the kind of films that he was doing that digitally released. He was also considered to be extremely brave to be releasing a movie like Bell Bottom at the height of the pandemic, opening the gateway for creators to take the plunge and contribute to the suffering cinema halls and exhibitors. But as 2022 got around the corner, the movies would be spanning across genres from crime thrill. Thrillers, mythological adventure films, family dramas, and even period epics, but nothing was genuinely generating hyper interest for his movie releases. The lack of physical or diction transformation for the roles almost seemed like an extension of Akshay Kumar rather than him immersing himself with characters. While everyone wanted to be hopeful for 2023, the consecutive releases for Akshay Kumar this year are also not going to stop. Having four more releases lined up this year, and it all started with Selfie marking the lowest opening Akshay Kumar has had. in his career in over 20 years two commercial faces in the comedy genre produced by dharma productions opening to a figure of 2.55 crores mostly leading to trade experts talking about how it caused shock waves within the film industry never envisioning that the movie will open its innings to such an abysmal number every analysis of the film is retrospective of course as if the film even did moderately well one would talk about how they got the marketing of the film just right but as i said in the review of the film the events leading up to the movie have been nothing short of a mess the promotion of the movie was barely about the dynamic between akshay and imran in the movie and what the creative and marketing team did otherwise was promote its highly produced music videos a remix song of an iconic number from akshay's filmography and roping in other stars from the film industry to dance on reels to promote mode the movie this misplaced advertisement of an akshay kumar led film with energetic songs versus a star versus fan face off which was essentially the movie did not make the audience aware of the film and its storyline but only promoted akshay dancing with actresses just before the release of the film kumar was seen promoting the world tour with four actresses on kapil sharma and one wondered what was the point of so many city tours and on the ground promotions when nothing is streamlined to talk about the content of the film Despite the movie being fairly enjoyable for me and clearly a one time watch I think the trigger for most people to step into the theater is clear like Ayushman Khurana said the trigger for the audience has to be great content not passable or just good the moment in my review I tell you that the movie is a casual one time watch that isn't a strong enough argument to motivate the masses to buy a ticket that's abundantly clear Moreover this perception that only big event films are motivating audiences is misplaced as a trailer and song as a marketing core essentially are what compels the viewers to be invested in that one film in the month that they're going to watch on the big screen the expectation that hindi cinema week in and week out is going to produce commercial hits is anyway delusional but the moment you see that a trailer of selfie just garners 8 million views you know there is a lack of interest for a film that can be seen digitally a few weeks later i don't think a creative strategy is going to change regarding Akshay Kumar and his process for films ahead but as we would want any actor to bounce back stronger his lineup in 2024 with Bade Mia Chote Mia and Hera Feri 3 are the only titles i can think of that will strike a chord with the masses The massive blow commercially to Akshay has come after years of being at the top of his game. The man literally was giving box office gold for 7 to 8 years and this kind of setback is not exclusive to Akshay as other stars have also gone through some of the most disastrous commercial ventures with little noise. But I wanted to briefly tell you about some of the moments in actors careers which sent shock waves through the industry. Kangana Ranaut The recently released R-rated action film starring the actor Dhakar made people hopeful that they're going to see a commercial female actor John Wick style kick ass and convincingly so but the muddled storyline and boring narrative just did not click with audiences a movie made on a budget of close to 85 crores clocked in a lifetime collection of 2.58 crores People assumed the movie to be niche but never did anyone foreshadow it to be such a colossal box office failure that it never even took off or piqued the interest of the audience Ayushman Khurana The track record of Ayushman Khurana ever since his debut was impeccable barring a few exceptions his movies would release in limited budgets would be high concept social commentaries and would rake in huge collections at the box office making his name Mr ROI as the producers would be ecstatic but post the pandemic none of the actor's films have clicked with the masses and mostly becoming massive commercial failures his movie Anek made on a budget of close to 50 crores collected in its lifetime around 8.15 crores and seeing the similar 
similar reception that an action hero got, just barely touching the double digits in its lifetime collection, I wonder how the actor is going to bounce back. Mohan Lal One of the biggest stars from Malayalam cinema is undoubtedly Mohan Lal, who is going through an extremely rough creative and commercial patch. Mostly being a part of mindless commercial films that are barely generating discussion and even more so, Moolah at the box office. His terrible film Monster, more than being embarrassing from a content standpoint, absolutely tanked at the box office. Even in Kerala, made on a budget of presumably 20 crores, even though sources are dicey on its ultimate collection, stopped at single digits around the 6-9 to nine crore mark really making people miss the inform Mohan Lal and make people wonder why he's consistently appearing in such awful scripts. Ranbir Kapoor The popular actor has gone through a rough patch with films as well. While his career oscillates between great commercial success and duds, he has been a part of massive loss-making projects as well. They would never restrict themselves to single digits, but the heavy investment in those films would be impossible to recover. This is true especially for Bombay Velvet, made on a budget of close to 120 crores and ending its lifetime box office collection at 43 crores, becoming his biggest loss-making venture even after Shamshera and Jagga Jasus. Nag Chaitanya The actor from the Telugu film industry is an interesting case of having hits and misses in his career. While everyone would assume that I would be talking about movies like Acharya and Radhe Sham when it comes to the Telugu film industry, but those movies, despite being loss-making ventures, would still rake in above 60 crores at the box office. Nag Chaitanya's 2022 release movie Thank You tanked terribly, however, at the box office, raking in a lifetime collection of just about 8 crores at the box office. A huge blow for the actor after Banga Raju did reasonably well. Dulkar Salman while the actor had a very impressive 2022, garnering commercial and critical love with movies like Sita Rama and Chup respectively, the commercial disaster that many people don't talk about is Hey Cinemica, a venture that split audiences but only could conjure up a box office collection of 3.75 crores, eventually being termed as a massive flop. It's interesting how Dulkar got two ends of the spectrum in the romantic genre in the same year, a blockbuster and a colossal failure. Saif Ali Khan An actor who has had big hits as a co-star and massive flops in the 2010s as a leading man is Saif Ali Khan. The actor has had duds that have not crossed the single digits at the box office even before the pandemic. His biggest commercial failure, however, is one of my favourite films of his, Lal Kaptan, that was made on a budget of close to 40 crores and accrued a box office revenue of just under 5 crores, a failure that really shook the actor and made him recalibrate the kind of films he wants to do in the future. Ravi Teja the popular actor has had a rough stint at the box office in recent years, and even though Walter Vireya has stopped that slump, his venture in the form of Rama Rao on duty tanked miserably at the box office, collecting a mere 7-8 to eight crores on over a 40 crore budget that really disappointed both from a content point of view and missed the mark from a long shot to simply entertain the masses, something Ravi Teja so consistently did just a few years ago. Tapsi Pannu Another actor who has definitely become disconnected from the audience in recent years is Tapsi Pannu. Once an actor who was known for a marriage between content and commerce with movies like Pink, Mulk, Badla and Thappad has really had a tough time to bounce back to her A-game. Her film Shabash Mithu, made on a budget of close to 48 crores, collected around 3-4 to four crores in its lifetime at the box office. Such was the fate of her recently released film Dobara as well, finishing its run at the box office at around the 7 crore mark, making me wonder whether she will be able to return with a bang with Dunkey. John Abraham Another actor who has had sporadic success and many failures throughout his career is John Abraham, but I think nothing could have saved the disaster that was Satyamev Jayate 2. Made on a budget of close to 95 crores, the movie's lifetime collection ended at 17 crores, and I still wonder how it even raked up those collections at the box office. It probably might be because John was getting help from other two Johns to mask over the cringe. Thank God though for Pathan making an entry into his life. Ranveer Singh Another actor on a massive successful commercial run before the pandemic was Ranveer Singh. Not only was he loved for his acting performances in movies like Padmavat and Gully Boy, but these movies were extremely successful. However, with 83 not being a knockout hit, it's crazy to think that its collections, just over 100 crores, now seem insurmountable. Ranveer got the shock of his life especially with Jayesh Bhai Jordar tanking at the box office, collecting only around 15 crores with its 60 crore budget. This followed by the colossal flaw that was Circus, I wonder what's going to be the next big move for the actor, as he's had such a poor run at the movies, especially just taking into account for him being in such fine form just a few years ago. 
and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what is your assessment of these box office failures and whether these actors can bounce back please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants 4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching